Our results came from X-ray diffraction technique. Some samples were analyzed by SAM technique.
the third eye cloud light is it's, uh, well discovered firstly at the, 90, the middle of the 90s uh, for uh, one uh, American group also for conducting a study. But the story became more interesting in this compound because in 2009 uh, was uh, published um, a work where an English group uh, performed some uh, moon spin relaxation experiment to see what uh, or how the non-supersymmetric features from this uh, superconductor affect the mechanism of superconductivity. And recently, uh, we can see some of the representative graphic for this work. And recently, in 2011, another cousin of this family was also found to be and, um, breaking a time reverse asymmetry. So this was for us enough motivation to explore some of the steroid carbides. And we, we, uh, we have here uh, a little bit of explanation of the unitary cells for this family, when we can see that uh, uh, this non-sentosymmetry non uh, are easily seen if we try to reflect uh, this carbon pairs in other in, in other carbons that we can choose we can choose really a set, uh, a center of inversion. So this would lead for some theory that uh, this could be um, correlated so for some for some uh, non symmetry features. And uh, there is a little bit work that has been done these days for this specific, uh, specific uh, compound of different cobalt carbon composition. So we only found uh, one work uh, of phase diagram where we can see that the only uh, stable ternary phase is the eutron cobalt carbon compound. And in the same work, we can see that Jetscope uh, in the 80s uh, also reports some uh, the, uh, superconductor that uh, has a mixture of the singlet uh, Cooper pair and the triplet Cooper pair in the mechanism of this compound. Where is it fit this neutral cobalt carbon? Do they have the same structure? and also a superconductor. It's worth to say that despite the presence of magnetic elements, we found superconductivity in this compound. So it's a few results that I want to share with you. And the other compound that I would like to share with you that I'm working on is the niobium 2 one nitrogen that it was fairly described by Peter Rob in the early 90s also. And uh, of the first family 